What I'd like to show you first is the, um, the samples from this project uh, because they're incredible and you're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, what you're gonna be doing in this project is using brushes and you're gonna use them in a different way than we used, we've used them in the past. Um, you're gonna be painting with them and you can use, you can change the opacity, you can change the flow and um, you're gonna be creating your own brush. We're gonna be doing that in part two of this exercise. But part one, what you're gonna be doing is um, switching between the photograph layer and the sketch layer and the additional layers that you're adding on. You're gonna go back, back and forth to build a painting, okay? So I'm gonna show you these samples first and then we will, um, we'll get into it. Okay, here is a peach, which this student took the peach and she created like a little soda brush. We're gonna be using the background brush, like the, um, the custom brush, sort of like a stamp. It's more like a stamp than a brush. You are able to use it as a brush though. You can actually paint with it if you want to. Um, but this is an example of the, the brush used as a stamp. But we're gonna be building our layers from dark to light and adding additional layers as we go. And um, his stamp was pretty interesting. It was more abstract. Uh, the gold looks really cool and you can see how the brush is really large and really small. And he kept his tomato pretty simple. So this is an example of the, the tomato. Uh, this is another peach and she used kind of a linear approach. So she just used one color for that one broad area of darker color, um, a secondary color, and then some, a few highlights, you know, some white highlights. And then she did a cool variegated leaf on the leaf. And her stamp looks kind of like hieroglyphics in the background. So you will be, the first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna create a background layer, and then you're gonna create a layer for your brush. And, um, and then you'll be painting, you'll be adding layers and going from what I suggest is going from darker to lighter to paint your image. And you're gonna be building upon, and then play around with opacities. You're gonna be building on what you've done in the layer before to create your painting. Here's a banana and the stamp is pretty, you know, modern, it's very contemporary looking. He used it bright red for his background color. The stamp is very simple, similar to what we had in our instructions. But you can see the, the lighter area painted here, a little bit darker yellow here, the green. And um, one of the steps is sort of creating, after you're done painting, doing an outline, which sort of contains the shape. Now she used a lot of texture in her peach um, which I liked. And it looks like she did some stippling um, with the yellow. I started with a darker color, did a darker shadow here, got some darker colors and values going on there. And each one of these colors is a layer. And then this is her little brush stamp that she created. And the layer uh, for the brush goes in between your painting layer and you're gonna do multiple layers for the painting and it goes between your background color, which is your first layer that you add into the file. Here's another peach. Uh, she didn't use any stamps, but I thought the peach painting was so beautiful. I wanted to show it to you. Um, I really like the way she, she used a, a brush that's in the palette um, to create this kind of uh, marbled look and she has darker values and then she has lighter values and then she did some highlights and she used that kind of marbling effect for the leaf too. And then she created an outline all the way around um, her image which kind of unified it. A banana again, um, I like the little drawing that he did in here, the spiral that kind of picks up the spirals outside that he used for his custom brush. Um, so different values, the green, the lighter yellow, the tan, the brown, and the darker shadow. I'll create a very interesting composition. And then once again, he's got the orange for the background color. And then we applied the stamp. And your stacking layer really helps you here, your stacking order of layers. 
really helps you here because um, you can freely use that brush and it goes behind your painting layers and no problem. And this is a really, I like this one too. He used, a, he created a, a brush of the whole shape of the banana, which we can talk about on Monday. But I really like his choice of colors, very beautiful. He did like a very soft painting approach, painterly approach to the, the side of the banana. Um, his shadow was kind of, not a shadow, it was a lighter color. So very interesting. And this one was kind of jarring, almost um, opposite colors on the color wheel. Uh, and a very like 50s vibe to it with that pattern in the background. But he did a pretty good job painting uh, the pea pods. Pea pods kind of a fun one, but there's um, more detail involved because you have all these multiple shapes. Here's another pea pod and she, a very delicate, um, use of color and then a very tiny stamp. She didn't vary the size at all. Uh, so they, these are all personal choices up to you. So that review, that stops our review of the samples. And then um, coming up will be your video, your how-to video. And I will send you an email when that is posted.